Hillary's a criminal. I didn't kill anybody. I never hurt anybody. She's a mass murderer. Hillary's a mass murderer. Hillary for prison. If you vote for a corrupt war criminal, don't be surprised when you get corruption in war. We're going to leave Hillary here in New York. Hillary for prison! Who wants Hillary to go to prison? That's where she belongs, bro. If you did what she did, you'd be in prison right now. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, we don't get no breaks. That's right. This makes more man right now. I that would be better. President. Better. You would make a better president. I'd make a better president. Absolutely. Hillary for prison. Hillary for prison. He's the artist. He's the artist. He's the artist. Yeah. You see anybody I know? Anthony Frieda. <laughs> It's funny, I'm asking people if they want to talk on camera to talk about their country and who's going to be leading this country. And it seems like everybody's like, no, no, I don't want to talk about it. So you just said something I thought was pretty interesting. It's troubling that they're, they're unwilling to express their opinions now when they're able to, when in the future where they will not be able to. And they're going to wonder why. It's very disturbing, for sure. They don't mind taking a picture for their social media, but they don't want to talk about the, the real issues. Right. Right. Hillary for prison! Hillary, Hillary for prison! No one talks about her past. Well, mostly we're, we're being lied to about the truth in so many different ways. These, these polls are rigged. The, the election's probably going to be rigged. But, and they're trying to demoralize Trump supporters. Divide well, and conquer. Yeah. So that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna vote. They can't stop me from voting. That's funny though. You do like that, yes, huh? I do like that. Cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. It was just America has had so many great presidents in the past, and. This year, I wonder why we have these two people. Is this the best choice of all the American people, all the moral people? It's just, I'm, I'm impressed. It's I'm, embarrassing, you think, to America? A bit, actually, a bit. Yeah. We as European countries, <laughs> we're not laughing at Americans, but it's just we're... We know it's a joke. <laughs> we know it's a joke. <laughs> we're laughing, too. I don't want to say it's a joke. We're crying while we're laughing. Though. Yeah. I know she's worked hundreds of millions of dollars and she lives, uh, her, her daughter lives right down the block at a $10 million townhouse. But they're always going to stay on the street tonight. Whatever happens to her, happens to her, you know. That's the way things go. We're leaving her at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. She's in the hands of New York City. So we're leaving her. Anthony, are you sure you're going to leave her? Hillary, I salute you. Godspeed. Bow, bow to Hillary. Ba would you I bow to her? Bow to Hillary. Bow to her. It's not gonna happen, dude. We're gonna leave Hillary here all night. We're gonna leave her here. You think she'll be safe? She'll be safe, right? Nobody will touch Hillary because Hillary's untouchable. Yeah, that's good. That was good. She does. It's hard. That's great. We're going to leave Hillary here all night. What do you think? We don't think anything's going to happen to Hillary because she's untouchable. Aren't the choices horrible? We're going to leave Hillary here all night because nothing happens to Hillary. We're going to leave her. We're going to leave Hillary here because she could do no wrong and nobody's going to touch her. Trump is the man. I mean, I think the world's looking at us like we're a joke. I mean, on both sides, you know, I mean, I think you know, she's got experience, but experience in lying. I mean, so does Trump, he's a businessman. But I mean, what are you gonna do? You know, we're in a situation where you have to make a decision. And most people are like, don't vote libertarian because then it doesn't matter, but if most people Like Jill Stein that, or somebody yeah. like that? But I mean, it's all going down the drain anyways, man. I mean, look at, look at where we're starting. It all starts from the top and we as citizens aren't coming together. This is no longer the United States, it's the divided states.
But yeah, then, everything is about division. Everything. And you know what? We as citizens divide each other too instead of creating unity. I mean, there's a civil war upon us, man. You know, it's crazy. We're gonna leave Hillary Clinton here because she doesn't get touched, right? She's untouchable. Tell her only what you think of her. Freedom of speech, man. Is it censored what we write? No. Yeah, whatever you want, man. Well, Are just don't forget, kids are going to be looking at it. This is what America's about, bro. I know, we got to move this, gotta move this, this way. Just for a little bit. Yeah, but they didn't really say anything. They, didn't, they just called you? Hillary's people? Who wants to okay. ride on Hillary? I said that a lot of people are actually afraid to talk out and speak out. If you, if you live in fear, what do you have to live for? You know, what are you gonna live for if you live in fear? You're, you're scared. I mean, I'm, I flew in from Virginia yesterday and never have I ever thought to look at people or, or like just think of an exit strategy. Well, what kind of world are we living in? It's, it's, World War III is upon us, you know, and we're, we're so ignorant because we're, they have us so focused on this shit. What's going on in Yemen? What's going on in, in, in 2007? It, you know, like in 2007 when we, our, our government is a bunch of fucking liars because we, we had the anti-missile crisis, right, that we wanted to, we're going to put, put this in Romania and tell the Russians it's to protect us from Iran when we already signed an agreement saying that we're stopping the arms race. So we're lying to them, and then Russia's like, okay, we're gonna do it too, because for this reason, which is also a lie. It's a, it's a perpetual war machine. That... And, and it's like, we push one button, and the whole fucking world's gonna implode. Yeah. And it's not that easy, you know what I mean? I guess it is that simple, though, you know? It's fucking crazy. It's scary. Who's though. running the world? Our government. Our, and we don't we don't even know that, like, how corrupt our government really is. Like, we, we're not, this isn't new. The United States government, this isn't new for them. We're just finding out about it now because of our social media outlets, because of things like this. You gotta ed educate yourself, man. You gotta read on the right sites. And don't, don't make your decisions based on your parents or people that you're friends with or, or on, based on what you hear, because it's not what you heard, it's what you know. You know what I'm saying? So, it's de depressing, man. It's, it's like, I got nine nieces and nephews and you look at them and you're like, what, what do you tell them? How do you bring them up in a society like this where people are just constantly hating each other? Like, you know, and I, I'm a believer in hate, breeds hate, but you, this is freedom of speech too, you know? Like trying look to at get all the Trump, window. Look at all the Trump, the Trump uh, statues they put around. I'm sure people are walking past this like, it's so ignorant. But they put a statue of Trump up and it's not ignorant. It's like, it's a double, it's a double standard, man. Like, come on. She deleted 30,000 emails. Like, yeah, he, he fucked some girls. Like, okay. Don't tell me that, you know. I'm a lesbian. I mean, I've had plenty of locker room talks. I'm in a men-dominated business. Like, it's shitty what he said. Don't act like... She Guys probably, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, a lot of men don't do that. I mean, they're not like that, but he, he's a billion, he was a billionaire, a young billionaire. You know, they probably, they probably did that to Mike him so they could bring it up now because they knew they were, this was going to happen. You know, it's a conspiracy or is it reality? It's fucking reality, man. All right. Thanks. She's the lesser of two evils. <laughs> That's what... Benghazi. Gotta love it. We're gonna leave Hillary Clinton here all night because Hillary Clinton's untouchable. Who 
wants to write about Hillary? You want to write about Hillary? Yeah, do it. Whatever you want to write. <laughs> Who wants to write about Hillary? Whatever you want to write. Freedom of speech is still here. This is for a couple of weeks. So whatever you want to write about Hillary. <laughs> We're going to leave Hillary here. We believe in freedom of speech. Pens are available in New York City. Anybody wants to write what they think about Hillary, her highness, her worshipfulness, you are welcome to write it here for posterity. Pens are available. Freedom of speech, use it while you still got it. She's gonna stay here all night. Because she's untouchable. Nobody's she's gonna untouchable, touch her. But you can touch her with a pen.